Dude. Yeah, what? Dude, check it out. Jesus! What? What are you doing with the shotgun? Oh, dude, relax. It's not loaded. <laughs> dude, dude, put that thing away. Okay, hear me out here. I got, I got a new idea. All right. I say we just ditch cinema buffs, we don't do the review thing anymore, and we just become PIs. You know, like private investigators. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my life. Dude, come on, it's a great idea. I even got us these really cool leather PI jackets. Here, check it out. I'm not denying this is a sweet jacket. But you know, it takes more than a couple jackets to do this. Sure, yeah, that's true, but we, we're fast learners, and besides, we already got the weaponry, check it out! Dude, maybe we should just stick to the reviews. You think? Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cinema Buffs. I'm Nate Fisher. I'm Dennis Stack. And today we are reviewing the new movie, The Nice Guys, starring Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. Yeah, The Nice Guys, uh, it's the new uh, private eye mystery from uh, Shane Black. This guy wrote the Lethal Weapon series. Yep. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, another similar PI story. So mm -hmm. the guy's very uh, familiar with uh, buddy comedy genre and this was like a buddy pi as opposed to a buddy cop yeah and uh you know the buddies in this situation are russ crow ryan gosling so nate uh what do you think about the chemistry and relationship between the sure. two lead actors yeah so starting off with the uh, chemistry i think that i think it worked i i really when this movie started you meet these two characters individually without each other and right. the one thing that i enjoyed about it is once they met is when I started to like them a lot more than when they were separated. And it doesn't take long for them to meet, it takes a little bit for them to start working together. Right. I would say. Um, but I thought that the chemistry um, worked really well. I thought they were, they, their banter's great. There's been a lot of marketing and promotional uh, material about this movie, and it's always Ryan Gasling and um, Russell Crowe together promoting it, doing funny things together. They did a little sequence even in the Oscars in the interview, and they were really funny together. So I was like, this might work. I, I wasn't really sure how the two personalities would correlate with each other. So what did you think about the whole Yeah, I thought they played off each other really well. And uh, something I really enjoyed about this movie was, like, you get to see Russell Crowe have fun. Yeah. He seems like he, you know, takes all these serious roles, like, with Noah... And just, like, all the, the roles he's done in the last, yeah, last couple sure. years, he gets serious, and then, like, you know, there's all this stuff that he gets into, you know, off camera, and it seems like, you know, right. he just, like, he seems like this, you know, upset guy. But now, just with this one, he seemed like he had fun. He seemed like he let loose, he got into this great character that he played that, you know, it seemed like it was tailor-made for him. I thought he was great, and also Gosling was great as not, like, a, not as his foil, not as complete opposite, but the flip side to the same coin. Do you think the focus was more on Russell Crowe or Ryan Gosling? Uh, I would say Gosling just more. Um, yeah, his that. daughter was more involved with the plot sure. and everything like that. Yeah. And I seem, it, it seemed to focus like it was on the case that he was already working on, and then Russell Crowe comes into the mix. Enters in. And this is how the story gets going. Yeah. Uh, we can talk about Russell Crowe and just the way he his transformation as an actor in general, physically, and uh, the way he looks... And even though he has, obviously, you know, he's he's different looking than he was in Gladiator or something like that, right. or L.A. Confidential, but he still is someone I wouldn't want to fight, and I wouldn't want to no, mess with. No, like, no, no, He is really good at conveying this person that will hurt you and be perfectly okay with it. And I thought he did that very well, but I did think that Ryan Gosling, uh, he didn't steal the show from Russell Crowe, but Russell Crowe seems a little more... Uh, you know, more central. Yeah, more central, I suppose, and uh, played it a little more safe. Ryan Gosling, let's talk about his performance. He went very comedy in this. This is the funniest I've ever seen Ryan Gosling. Yeah, easily. Yeah. And it was uh, it was a great new surprise. You know, different side. You know, of him. So he usually does these. You know, more darker, dramatic roles. I would say the top two movies he's known for are Drive and The Notebook. Right. And those are dramatic roles. So yeah. you know, a few action movies, but never really got to show his comedic side. Not even in some cameos. I haven't really seen him in very many cameos in like comedy players or anything like that. Right. I would say the funniest he was before this movie was uh, Crazy Stupid Love. I think he has comedy chops, but in this film he finally gets to show them off a little bit. Um, 
the comedy? Do you think it landed? Do you think it worked? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, pure Shane Black. Very, uh, very meta, very self-aware, mm -hmm. and very just like, you know, I feel like Shane Black is like one of those filmmakers who is at the center a movie fan. Yeah. Because he recreates these situations for, that we've seen in movies a hundred times. classic situations. Right. Yeah. But he makes the characters react how, like, we would react, you know, and just like not... You know, rough and tough, let's go ahead and like, no, yeah. is there any way we can get out of this? Because this is scary as hell yep. type situation. I did like the moments that were a little serendipitous and just, uh, things just worked out for him. And yeah. the reaction <laughs> was perfect for him. They'll just be right. like, no, great. All right. well, Excellent. Yes. Let's on to the next on, I guess. Like, so I really did enjoy that. So the chemistry, it worked. It, it totally did. Yeah. Uh, there were jokes that missed. I will say that. There's times where I was right. like, eh, okay, and not really sure how necessary it was. But, um, um, yeah, all in all, it was, it was a good plot. If I had any gripes about this movie, that'd be one of the few ones I had, is that I feel like with some of these mysteries, there's so many tropes in them and so many cliches and things you expect, things you see coming, where these filmmakers try to outsmart you. But I feel like this one, they, Shane Black tried to outsmart us by kind of overcomplicating the plot a little bit, throwing in a lot of different players into it. Really? Yeah, I thought it was, it was just, uh, I don't know, I thought it was pretty easy to follow to a certain extent. I mean, there weren't too many characters. Maybe it was they named their characters really well. I liked that the names of the characters were distinct, that you remember who everybody was throughout the plot, right. even though you didn't see much of them. Uh, what I felt with the plot was that it wasn't that dire. I really didn't think that their reasoning for going on and risking their lives so many times was really that important. Right, the, I don't think the stakes really set there, and... Um... Now let's get into like the pacing of the movie. What did you think about pacing of the story, pacing of the scenes? Honestly, I thought it was pretty well paced. Yeah. I, there wasn't really many lulls for me. Um, the beginning was a little bit of a lull, only because I think it lulled for me that I was second guessing the movie. When the movie started, the little narration's going over the top and they're doing their little thing and you, I, I was like, uh oh, is this gonna be too cliched? Is this not gonna work? It wasn't until uh, Russell Crowe, like I said before, and Ryan Gosling met that I was like, okay, this is gonna work. This is gonna be good. Okay. You didn't like the pacing? Uh, no. I felt like, uh, some of the scenes just kind of dragged, and the story kind of dragged. Like, uh, I mean... I feel like they were running in circles a little bit? Right, and, yeah, and, and you know, I get that's the basic premise of a P.I. movie, where they go back and look clue at things clue, from clue, a different clue. perspective. Right, yeah. I understand all yeah. that. I mean, the jokes kept it moving. Yeah. So it didn't feel like too long of a drag. Yeah. But I would say that, yeah, there are some parts where I felt the story was a little bit sluggish. Okay. I was pretty impressed with some of the action. I thought, uh, even towards the end, some of the action scenes, I was like, this is pretty well choreographed. It's not like fist fights or no, no, any no. crazy stuff like that, but they integrated little quips and jokes in the action so often that I was laughing Yeah. through every definitely. situation they were in. Yeah, uh, and that's and I think that's just more credit to Shane Black, how he finds comedy in all these great little moments, and I think that he is like you know the godfather of the buddy comedies. Yeah, you know, just starting with Lethal Weapon, and you know, Last Boy Scout is also his. You know, Long Kiss Goodnight is yeah. also one of his as well. So I yeah, but um, like I said, the pacing was one of my very few gripes. Do you have any uh, gripes about this one? Um, a little bit. Uh, I felt like. Uh, they tried to just throw in little things for Russell Crowe's character and Ryan Gosling's character to make you care about them, to make you see where their past is, but you never actually get a grasp of where Russell Crowe comes from or Ryan Gosling's character. Uh, with Russell Crowe's character, I feel like the movie's called Nice Guys, and often you hear them ask, like, "Are we? am I a good guy? Am I a nice guy? Right. Or am I a nice man? Or whatever. Am I a good person? Am I a good person kind of thing, and that goes throughout the whole thing, but... Uh, Russell Crowe, he was a little all over the place with his character of, I don't know where he came from, why he's into this, and why he's pretty okay with murdering people, or right. like, you know, that whole thing. So, I felt like the background stories, um, they didn't totally, you know, it's just one of those small gripes. Alright, so, uh, let's wrap it up. All right. score on it, what do you, what I, do you uh, this one? I thoroughly enjoyed this movie, I, I will watch it again, strictly for the comedy, I think it'll hold up, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8. Going eight. Yeah, out of ten. Yeah, I really, I really like this movie. It surprised me into liking it so much. Yeah, um, I enjoyed this one as well. Uh, not as much as you. I'm gonna go seven. Seven. Seven out of ten. Yeah, like, like I said, it had its problems with the pacing. Sure, the captain comedy kept it going, but there were just a couple moments where it's just like, all right, 
Let's get it going. I hear so, you. That, for sure. that just kind of dampened the experience. Yeah, for me, the pacing worked. So. Buffs. All right, so there you have it. That's our review for The Nice Guys. What did you guys think of the movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Be sure to leave some comments down below. And don't forget to show your support by liking and sharing. And if you click right here, you can subscribe to our YouTube page and see all of our reviews from the past. That's absolutely right. And also, we're going to be reviewing X-Men Apocalypse next Wednesday, so definitely check out that review. Don't forget, guys, there's no place like the theater.